What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series. Here we got episode number 12, I believe. I always forget these numbers, but we're up on another episode of the No Money Spent series. And as you can see, we have 405,000 coins. And like I told you guys in the last episode, I've been just working the auction house, trying to make coins as much as I can because we're going to be making some big upgrades. Not in this episode, but in the next one, we are going to be making some big upgrades. As you can see here in my auctions, you can see I have so many cards. I've been uh, like buying low, selling high, and just working the market, especially with this Saturday helping out a lot. So that's what I basically do to make coins. And uh, you can see right here my bids and everything like that. All the cards I bought, I bought low, sold them high. And just keep making a profit even if it's like a 1k profit or 2k profit that's still coins being added up to my coin count right there then we also completed the gridiron guardian solo challenges which gives us a 90 overall ncat player we also got this 82 overall gridiron guardian player fantasy five but we're not gonna worry about that one because that one's not really that interesting we'll just sell the card and get coins for that and we also got two nat team builders fantasy pack now i was thinking about like what am i gonna get with this these are 84 overall players i mean i don't really need any 84 overall players but then i thought about it, i'm like Wait a minute, I need to upgrade my offensive line even more. So I'm going to end up getting a left guard and a right guard out of these NAT Team Builder Fantasy Packs because, I mean, upgrading our offensive line is the least of our problems for us or, like, the last couple things that we would ever do. So might as well do it with an NAT card. So we are going to be getting the Saints left guard and the Ravens right guard. So we're going to be choosing the Ravens right here, and we are going to be selecting the right guard from the Ravens, which is Ben Powers. You can see right here, Ben Powers will be our starting right guard right there for our team. And then for our left guard, we are going to get a Saints player right here. Saints, uh, I think it's Andrus Piet, Pete, Andrus Pete, one of those. But yeah, we're going to go with the Saints here, select the left guard here, upgrade our offensive line, beef up our interior offensive line. That way we can ground and pound even better. And Ezekiel LA can get some good runs going for us. Right there. Oh, Andres Pete. There we go. Our left guard right there. And those are going to go to our starting lineup right away, man. Solid stats. And then for our 90 overall NCAT Gridiron Guardian Fantasy Pack. You know, I was looking through the cards and I'm like, okay, we a lot of the positions that are on here, we already have stacked, you know. And as much as I would want... To upgrade like these positions which is in wide receiver corner they're not that fast like my my players that i currently have are faster so i was like it was either between deforest buckner mike jacecki or jamal adams and i was like oh well, we have gerald ever and he's been balling out for us still and then with deforest buckner we could use another interior defensive lineman and with quentin williams but then i was like i mean but jamal adams would be a beast for us like we would have another strong safety position added to our team and his hit power is insane and i was like i mean we just have to we're gonna go with jamal adams right here big hit stick jamal adams right here he's gonna be our sub linebacker right there so now we have pretty much our whole safeties set up with brian Doggins, trevon moreg adrian amos and jamal adams in there so we're not gonna really see a lot of linebackers unless we're, we're playing like a 4-3 formation like to stop the run or something like that if he's in a heavy run package but we're going to add these players to the team, and I'll show you the squad in a bit. All right, guys, and we are back, and this is how the team is looking like. We still got our quarterback, Kyler Murray, Ezekiel L.A., our running back, Sean Alexander, backing him up. Our stud wide receivers, T.J. Hushmanzad, Terry McLaurin, Roy Williams. We got Gerald Everett, our star tight end. Offensive line is looking a lot better. Not a single gold on the offensive line. The only one that's pretty low overall is Mike Pouncey, but besides that, our offensive line is pretty nice for us. And on the defensive side, you can see we added Jamal Adams right there, starting strong safety. Adrian Amos is a backup. We got Brian Dawkins, Trevon Morgan, the other safety position. We do need to upgrade the linebackers. That's another thing I'm going to go to because there are times where we do go in the 4-3 formation, which I really do need to get it right and a left outside linebacker. Middle linebackers are pretty good right here. But, I mean, like, our defense is looking pretty good. I think the next position, besides the linebackers, I would want to go another good defensive tackle. But, I mean, our secondary is looking pretty good great i mean honestly and then with the whole like like i said we have four safeties so we're gonna have uh, jamal adams and adrian amos playing the sub linebacker position and then we have brian Dawkins, from morag also playing on the field but we have usually have four safeties on the field um majority of the passing times and um uh, yeah things are gonna be looking really good right now things are gonna be looking really good can't wait to get on the field with jamal adams see how he plays but yeah guys we're gonna jump into a match but before we do, remember to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more Man Ultimate Team content, guys. It really does help with the channel, and I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, we're going to jump into a match and see how good these new upgrades, see if our offensive line is a lot better, and, and see how Jamal Adams plays. 
All right, here we go, guys. We're going to be going up against It's Cap. As you can see, our top three, Sean Alexander, Quinn Williams, and Dante Jackson. Majority of on the defense side. He's got Jamal Adams, Zach Wilson, and Lance Allworth. Zach Wilson might be a problem. Jamal Adams, we definitely got to hold on to the ball. We cannot risk fumbling because uh, he has 91 hit power, so we definitely got to watch out for that. Our opponent is coming out in gun bunch tight end. You can see Miami Dolphins versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, my brother would be really happy with this right now. Oh, come on. Oh, he's going with the delay. We missed the tackle right there. Okay, thankfully, Jamal Adams is able to get the tackle right there. He went with the play action boot over. Interesting that he would go to that. I mean, if, if he wants to do that, we're going to try and use our Adrian Amos right here. See how this goes. If he, yep, he's going back at it again. Get to him, get to him, get to him, get to him. He literally has nowhere to go. I mean, I mean, if you're going to do that same thing, I'm just going to use her. Using Adrian Amos, just try and get to the outside as much as we can. Good play right there, right to his tight end. We definitely got to watch out for these rollouts, man. He is running a lot of play action right here. Watch the little slants underneath stuff right there. Come on, man. Big hit stick right there, but we got to get there. We got to cover that. We can't let it be open like that. All right, here we go. I'm using Roquan Smith right here, a little cover two. See how things turn out. He's going to go with the little... Oh, he's going with the run. He actually ran the ball right here, and he jukes me out of his mind right there. Freaking Ezekiel Elliott got to the outside. Good stuff by him. He's, he's coming out in that strong eye. I mean, like that strong close, and that's just killing us right now. See how things turn out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's got it wide open right there to Brandon Marshall, man. Come on, man. Come on. Watch the run. Watch the run. And he gets in there. Easy right there. Easy drive for our opponent right there. We try to do our best, and he just drives down. Good stuff by our opponent. Good stuff. All right, we're going to feed the ball to Ezekiel Elliott right here. It does look like he has inside stuff, so we're going to double-team the interior lineman right here. Let's get a good run game going right here. Ezekiel Elliott, he's got a nice hole right here. Good stuff by Ezekiel Elliott getting some good chunks right there. So not a good way to start right there with the sack. We just need to figure out something real quick here. See how things turn out. We got Ezekiel Elliott wide open right there. Little spin move. Get a good chunk of yards right there with Ezekiel Elliott. Hopefully we got some good protection. No pressure, no pressure. Ah, uh, that's going to be intercepted, right? That was a horrible decision right there. Ah, uh, that was such a bad decision. I was hoping everyone was going to cut even like closer, man. All right, here we go. We're going to go to the right side. Let's see. Watch underneath, watch underneath. He missed it. We get the ball right back. Let's go. Great stuff, defense. Great stuff. Kyler Murray just... Oh, X is wide open right there. Gerald Everett. Nice toe drag swag right there. Good stuff. All right, let's go with a little dagger right here. We should get somebody open. Just continue playing it smart. Right there. Good stuff. Terry McLaurin, first down. All right, let's go with the little mesh spot right here. Let's see who we could hit. Hopefully, we can get one of the drags. Right there, Gerald Everett. Good stuff, good stuff. Call a timeout, call a timeout. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's get this going. A little fullback dive right here. We get in there with Mercedes Lewis. That's a touchdown right there. We get on the board, thankfully. Ooh, that was close. That was, that was really intense right there. All right, we're going to go up the middle once again with Ezekiel Elliott. Hopefully, get some positive yards right here. Let's see how things turn out. Get some good yards right there. Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, my gosh. If he could just outrun that defensive lineman. We get some good yards right there, though. All right, right here with the little bunch trail. Let's see how things turn out right here. Let's see if we can get us open. Right there, Ezekiel Elliott wide open. Like I predicted right there. First down. Let's go. All right, little dagger right here. Let's see who we can hit. Same concept. Let's be smart. Let's not make any mistakes. Right there to Everett. First down. Let's move the chains. All right, just right up the gut right here to Ezekiel Elliott. He's going to expect we're going to run it to the outside once again. Just going to give it to our running back. Good stuff. Ezekiel Elliott's running a good game right now. Seven rushes, 39 yards. And then Madden, that's a good amount for us. That is a good amount for us. All right, let's run a little Texas right here. See if we hit Mercedes Lewis. If not, TJ Hushman Zada. 
Should get somebody right here. Go to the outside, go to the outside. Ooh, he manages to bring us down right there. Good play right there from him. We're going to take our points right here. We tried. We didn't come out with it, but let's at least get some points right here to put some pressure on him. And let's come out with some points at least. All right, we got, we got to get some pressure going right here, man. Definitely going to get some pressure. We end up getting the pressure right there. Let's go, Byron Murphy, dude. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, guys. We need to do a good job right here. Play some good coverage. Get some pressure for us. Right there. Brian Dawkins with the interception. That's what I'm talking about. Are we going to be able to pick six this? Let's get it, guys. Good defense right there. That's what I'm talking about. And our opponent quit. He ended up quitting right there. The game wasn't over, but he just lost faith in himself and just decided to quit. An intense game right there, guys. We made it to the playoffs. We are 7-1 in this season. And we're going into the wild card in the next game that we play on the No Money Spent Series. It's going to be intense. Hopefully, we don't choke and hopefully, we don't lose. But with the new upgrades, I feel like our defense played pretty well with the whole safeties playing the sub linebacker positions. Like, we we did a solid job. Like, the first drive for our opponent, he just, he just like, marched down the field. But then after that, like, things started to settle down and things got better. And we were able to get the pick with Brian Dawkins. Always making plays for us. Brian Dawkins is just a monster for us. And the offensive side of the ball, we played smart. We didn't try to force it down the field. We took what the defense gave us, and we got some points out of it. We able to got we were able to get a rage quit from our opponent. Uh, we ended up winning 10-7. to 7. Not the most exciting game, but it's still a dub, guys. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Remember to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more Man Ultimate Team content, guys. It really does help the channel, and I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.